Hello everyone, it's me once again. Today I just want to show you my um, guitar that I bought a while ago actually, I think seven to eight years. And uh, the reason I'm posting this video is just want to see if there's any experts out there who can identify the quality of this guitar. Now obviously I bought this in a really good price in uh, one of the guitar shops, quite well known, one of the most well known guitar shops in central London about seven or eight years ago. And uh, this is the great um, Fender Jaguar. Okay. And one of the biggest reasons I bought this from the guitar shop was because um, I'm a great fan of Kurt Cobain. And this is not quite, uh, I believe these uh, are not the exactly the same replication of what Kurt Cobain used to play, but pretty much good enough. And um, I think this is the most, as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the most um, used model that Kurt Cobain, uh, sorry, Kurt Cobain used to play. And I uh, just want to see what your thoughts are with regards to, you know, your opinion, your thoughts on the quality of this guitar. Now, these were deliberate marks when I bought it and probably that's why it was slightly cheaper but I just love the fact that someone actually tried to put some vintage effect in here but kind of failed in some way. You can see that there's a scratch marks here. Let me just focus that in there a bit more. Yeah, so someone deliberately scratched and came off. Uh, that's fine but this is something I like about guitar. Every single dent marks, or scratch marks represents some history behind it but rather this is more like a a uh, deliberate but then again still I would I still love this guitar I'm not one of the greatest guitar player I just don't know how to play some chords um, but yeah this is a Japanese made and um, not unfortunately not the Americans I know American made is one of the most expensive brand new Jaguar you could actually buy it for about 1,500 to 1,800 pounds, uh, while as Japanese is about 1,200 to 1,300 or 400. So Japanese models, oh sorry, and the Mexican, you can get the Mexican version, which is about 700 to 800 pounds. So easily a Mexican version is almost twice cheaper than the American full version. but. Um, I, some say that Japanese craftsmanship is much better than the Americans, but Americans are the original, therefore it's more expensive. So that's a, a question I want to ask what your opinions are in regards to that. Um, so this is a Japanese um, guitar, and I believe the craftsmanship should be better than the Americans. I don't want to offend any Americans, my, um, by the way, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, slightly dusty because I haven't actually been playing this for a while and I would like to show you the serial number as well so um, it actually does say okay so it goes said crafted in Japan and let's see if we get the serial number on it um, so I'm just gonna focus that in on the other way You see that? I think it says S7075130. It was crafted in Japan. I believe it was made early 2001 or something, or maybe before that, but it's certainly not 1956 or 60s or whatever. It was one of those popular ones. Um, and just to prove to you that I'm a great Kurt Cobain fan, um, I know those who are also a fan, will know what this is. It took me a while to find this distor distortion, which is DS1. And um, I'm trying to keep the original as much as I can. One day I might actually put this in a nice sealed box, but this is DS1 distortion. I believe the um, latest one is much smaller, more compact, but this I believe is the most more original ones. So yeah. DTS one with Defender Jaguar, I believe you'll get the full Nirvana effect. So um would love to hear your opinion on this Fender Jaguar. And um please do comment and let me know 
what your thoughts are. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is Love Jesus Please.